Hello, fellow people of the internet. Today, I'm looking at this Fisher Price vintage tape slash cassette recorder player released in uh, the 80s sometime. Sometime in the 80s, I think 19. Ooh, uh, 89. Although this one says uh, copyright 1980. Uh, 89. So I don't know if the first iteration was introduced in 1980, but I think this one was 89. Now, this takes four C cell batteries, which I will place into the crevice known as the battery input socket. Is it? Maybe the battery compartment. There we go. And let's see if it actually works. Oh, it does, it does. Okay, so we eject the tape deck. And I have a selection of various tapes I've dug out of my boxes. Uh, let's go for Sega Music, volume 16, with three exclamation marks. It must be very, very exciting. Uh, which way do we go? This way. Get ready. Oh yeah! And if you can identify the tune, then you're a better man than I. I don't recognize that. This is clearly a tape that I've recorded some time in the past. Oh, I recognize that. Oh, I can't, I can't place it. Put your answers on a postcard to um, PO Box, I don't give a shit, and I'll get back to you. Sega Music, Volume 4. Now, I wonder what happened to the... My God, did I make... Like, how many volumes of these did I make? This is four. Come on, focus camera. No, it's not, it's not interested in focusing. It just, it, it's not appreciating the Sega music, is it? Look at that, it's just, it can't be bothered. Okay, so this is Sega music volume four, anyway, and this is volume 16. There we go, there's volume 16. But how many of these must I have made? This is actually, what's this record? Oh my god, I recorded over Driller for the Spectrum. What is wrong with me? I, for fuck's sake. That was a great game. I found the box for Driller the other day. And I've got them fucking recorded over the tape. What's under this one? Story. Burglar Bill! I recorded over Burglar Bill. The story. That was a great book. And I've, oh my god. God, I hate my previous past self. Okay, what's on this one? Sonic 2. Yeah, more Sonic. I can't believe I taped over that. Okay, what else have we got? Um, how about a lovely Elton John tape? Eh? Yeah? The One and Suit of Wolves. Gotta be quick. I don't want any sort of copyright infringement. Not that quick. Oh, forget it, Elton. Forget it. And here we have. Oh, come on. WWF Superstars Slam Jam. Come on. What a tune! Uh, 
let's fast forward it a bit. I forgot what an awesome tune that is. I'm going to have to listen to that. That was clearly the instrumental mix. Oh yeah! Uh, here we have Mr. Men Stories, read by Arthur Lowe. Yeah. Now, the zookeeper. Now, but we let close the zoo because all the animals are cold. And they will feel very sorry for themselves. No doubt, said Mr. Pye. What's he saying? And then he thought. Perhaps I could help to show them up, he said. I blame the quality of this Fisher Price unit. Mm -hmm. Knew somebody who worked in a restaurant and arranged for Mr. Smurr to work with. Oh, memories, memories. Uh, here we have uh, some 80s tape, 1983. Bobby and the Magic Go Kart. Okay, Bobby, I don't know what you've been smoking. Nothing. end of the tape. Let's go back a bit. Cool, this is quite slow at rewinding. But won't you drink a last glass of wine with me? Ah! Okay, what's this? We've got a tape here, a random tape labelled EMCB. <laughs> Okay, and last, but not least, well, probably, Toolbox. Now, I'm guessing this is a old ZX Spectrum tape, so either we'll hear, we'll hear the delights of uh, a lovely board rate, whatever it was, data recorded at 2400 board, or we'll hear some shit that I've recorded over the top. Or, third option, we'll hear nothing at all, because there's nothing on the tape. Oh my god! What is this? Yeah, that's um, a loading tape. Uh, and there we go. That was, and indeed still is, the Fisher-Price tape recorder. Um, I could try out the record functionality. One sec. Now, I feel a bit bad doing this on such an old tape, but I recorded over Driller the first time, so what the hell? I might as well over it again using that classic trick of tape over the recording holes for anyone who doesn't know what this is these little notches on the top dictate whether it's right protected or not and if there's a tab in there then you can record to it and if there's not you cannot but you can trick it into thinking there is a tab by putting a cello tape over or any other sort of tape, whatever you fancy. Maybe masking tape if you're feeling a bit crazy. And that will allow you to record. Hello, Fisher Price. Hello, Fisher Price. And it works. And indeed, it works quite well. There's probably quite a good microphone in there. Let's just see how loud this thing goes. Okay, quiet. Th 
Thank you for watching this video on the Fisher-Price cassette player. Join me soon.